synopsis of who the of group R, which is the holding company for United Capital Fertilizer. They now grow into UCF and file, since it's our last born among us, the five subsidiaries that we run in the group. So our group, the wonderful group, began its business in about 2011, with the first company called Wonderful Industries, Zambia Company Limited. And this company is based about 12 kilometers before you got here, we have the junction there. Uh, wonderful Industries Zambia Limited began, this first business was uh, recycling of uh, packaging bags and also PVC ceiling boards, the famous Wonderful Ceiling Boards. So we were the pioneers of the Wonderful Ceiling Boards and has uh, since expanded into production of brand new packaging sacks and also cement bags and all manner of PVC packaging bags. So Wonderful Industries is currently the biggest supplier of uh, all packaging for cement to all the big four cement companies all the big seed companies, all the grain marketing companies, including the Food Reserve Agency. We also export to eight countries in Southern Africa, including in all the countries where Monsanto is present and Sitco. So we are one of the biggest uh, PVC marketing suppliers within the region. The second company is uh, what we call Bofa Machinery and Equipment Zambia Limited. It was established in 2013. Uh, Bofa primarily began uh, its business in the supply of medical and industrial equipment, but has since expanded into commercial real estate business, and it's also the owner of the group building that is opposite East Pakumo, which we are calling Wonderful Tower. It is also planning to expand its small business in, in, um, in the timber sector to start processing finished produce, including things like the board uh, table we have in this room. Uh, so we're planning to start that within the next six months. So that is a uh, But UCF was established in um, August uh, 2021, and it was in response to the fact that in Zambia, almost 100% of the fertilizer was being imported, which means the country always had to look source for forex, as well as long supply chains for things to be delivered on time. So we began construction uh, in August to um, in December 2021, and after eight months, we finished construction what we call our compound fertilizer plant, which can produce what we call NPK in whatever formulation. So, like for example, in Zambia, the standard NPK, what we call decompound or base of, is, is 10 20 10, which means it must have 10 nitrogen, uh, 20 phosphorus, and 10 potassium. But in other countries like Zimbabwe, it's still NPK, but for them, the formulation is 7 14 17. But our machine is able to do any formulation as long as it's uh, an NPK compound plant. The total investment cost for our plant, which is where we are seated, we call it the North Plant, was $138 million, of which uh, $25 million was financed by Zanapo, and uh, the remaining $130 million was financed by, by the group. We didn't end there, we still have huge ambitions for, for uh, United Capital Fertilizer. We went on and bought a separate plot of about 278 hectares, just off the Makopolo towns, which we'll show you. There we're planning to build a urea plant. So the urea plant technology is slightly more complicated than uh, compound fertilizers, because commercially the world over, urea is only made from three things, oil, gas, and coal. So in Zambia, we looked at what resources we have, and we found that uh, coal was the most feasible for, for our country. And hence, we'll be establishing a coal-based urea plant uh, just across there. Uh, the cost at the start we thought would be around, uh, around 300 to 400 million dollars. But uh, when we approach some of our potential financiers, including the Africa Import and Export Bank, Africa Bank, they appointed uh, technical due diligence and commercial due diligence advisors from the United Kingdom uh, called Next and TCA. So after the evaluation of all projects, the project cost now stands at $594 million, of which uh, about 51, uh, 49, 47% of that is supposed to be debt of $280 million, of which are the application we have made to the Africa Import and Export Bank. Our governor, we are pleased to announce that uh, the Great Committee of Africa has approved our $280 million application yesterday. So we'll be going to the board of uh, our friends and uh, in the 
next few weeks. So we are counting on your support. <laughs> 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 the remaining 53% uh, will come from equity, and of course, at the group, we did recognize that uh, we were not, not in the capacity to raise the remaining equity. So, therefore, we looked for potential equity partners. And uh, fortunately for us, we were able to find some foreign investors uh, who we have partnered with. We reached equity financial closure in April, and that's the reason we began construction works in April. And uh, there were commitments, the initial commitments was $201 million, $100 million from our equity partners, and $101 million from the wonderful group. And we have since paid uh, the initial deposits of 50, $57 million to the APC contractor, who is a Chinese contractor called Wuhan Engineer. So they began the mix in April, and we are hoping to finish the rear plant by first quarter of uh, 2026, with about three years to, to construct. The project's cost is high because uh, that we are planning to basically have uh, about four sub plants within there. Uh, because we're using coal, and like our friends who use gas, we convert straight gas to ammonia, the urea, as we have to go one step backwards, which means extracting the gas from the coal. So we need a coal gasifying plant, then we need an ammonia plant, then we need a urea plant, and in addition, we have also included a 75 megawatt a thermal power plant within that project. That's why the project's cost escalated to, to $600 million. So, um, the plant capacity, uh, Governor, will be 300,000 uh, metric tons of urea. Uh, and uh, this is not enough to... So, uh, uh, a question on your whole plant raising of financing, you didn't have a problem with all of this climate and greening and so on. We had check, but we had a very robust <coughs> environmental impact assessment report. Yes. So it's over 1,000 pages. It's <laughs> not <laughs> Yes, and uh, the whole project is compliant to the greater principles on climate change and everything. Yes, and uh, all the finances in the whole process are to make sure that it complies with those processes. So uh, using coal to, uh, to gasify and produce it really is proven technology in countries that don't have gas. And 70% uh, of the urea that comes from coal comes from Chinese coal uh, plants. So it's a proven technology in those countries. So it's only countries where they have gas that they don't use coal. The rest of the countries that have coal, they use coal to produce it. So it's proven technology and it's a bit pollution free. The coal will be gotten from predominantly southern province. Yes, we have three uh, supply agreements with Mamba Polaris, with Seismic uh, Coal, and African Park Coal. In addition, we have acquired our own coal, it's a small scale. We have to develop it to our own small coal mine just to build in the dynasty. And we are still exploring more options in that to ensure that the supply chain is secured. There is significant regional demand for, for our fertilizer, which means now we are, we are now actively trying to develop a plan to expand the current decomponent so that we can double the production from about 600,000. So we are still mobilizing and speaking to potential financials for that. And then for the urea plant, uh, the current agreement we have with the one, which is one of the biggest EPC contractors for urea plants in China is that we have uh, so access to their technology for the next seven years so that we are allowed to pay back whatever we borrow. In return for that, they also have the right of first refusal in case we want to expand and build a second plant. So they will be the first uh, option for them to build that. So even for urea, we will have to expand in future because producing 300,000 deer and 300,000 urea is still not enough just for Zambia itself. Because Zambia's consumption is almost a million, one million tons. But if you include the whole region, then we're talking in excess of three, four million tons in demand. And all these countries within, except South Africa, they all import. Even South Africa, what they produce is not enough for them. They also import. <coughs> so there is significant demand. For this year, Governor, for Minister of Agriculture, we were given a contract to supply 77,000 metric tons of the compound. Uh, we signed the contract on 10th June. And uh, last week we finished delivering all these 77,000 metric tons. The most important thing about that is that this year, uh, 
governor who didn't ask for any letter of credit for us to supply, who didn't ask for any down payment. So we have supplied all 100% without any financing instrument from government or, or any down payment. So now we are on the doors of agriculture and means of finance to get our first deposits. <coughs> yes, but the only, sometimes when you overperform is that you affect others. So now we are done, the Liza is in the district, it's costing us to pay for the warehouses. And now the government is not ready for redemption. Farmers are not yet ready. <laughs> so we have to push that because it will start costing us uh, warehousing and, and, and everything. So we hope that can be addressed as soon as, as, soon as possible. Just on the demand side, you will say that the total demand is about 400 hours.
Thank you very much, Assistant Group, Assistant CEO, and Group CFO, and colleagues from the legal department, colleagues from Bank of Zambia, the whole team here, the deputy governors, directors, assistant directors, and the senior economists. Uh, we are very grateful for the invitation and the very warm reception that you have accorded to us. Uh, we have learned a lot in the short period that we have been with you here. We 
truly see how dreams come alive. There are many people who have so many dreams, but not many of us realize that they are dreams. We can see that you are result-oriented operation. Everything is well thought out at the very beginning, such like that once you start, it's to the finish. The speed at which you have put these the factories is amazing. Governor and your delegation, we are also <coughs> very, very delighted that you could take your time off your busy schedule. Uh, having the, the entire central bank around here, it's not easy. I think uh, I, was, I was talking to the group CFO here that uh, the, the entire man of Zambia is with us here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so after this meeting, we don't want to hear any complaints. <laughs> Just pay and pay and pay. <laughs> yeah. uh, this, this is uh, very encouraging to us. Uh, sometimes we, we ask ourselves, are we on the right trajectory? And when we see uh, you and your team come here, the captains of our economy, then we know that I think we are moving in the right direction. And we believe with your visit and with your comments, I think we'll, we can do better than we are doing now. But I think we need to be encouraged. The eye that see cannot see self. So when you come through, you see certain things that we can't see, then we improve. Ours is to improve. I think our, 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 our strategy and our true north is that we need to grow and grow bigger. And uh, we believe <coughs> Zambia has been land leaked. We have to create a hub so that all exports come out of Zambia in the region. We don't see Zambia as a market, we see the region as a market. And we look at what is it that the region is importing, how can we mitigate then we look at what resources do we need. Yes, many more things are coming from the group. That's why we say in the interim, we see that we have five companies, but very soon some more companies will come through. With your support, I know we'll do much more. So we are very, very grateful. I think on behalf of staff here, uh, the group CEO and everyone around us here, the wonderful group of companies, United Capital Fertilizer, in particular, who, who, who championed this uh, Visit by the governor and the team. Uh, Marco Polo has also uh, uh, gotten luck out of coming here. That's why it's good to, to, to live close by. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, we cannot say so much. The, we are so overwhelmed and we are so, so, so happy, uh, Governor, that we, we could have you here. Thank you so much. I think we, we keep calling on your door and on the government's door. We cannot invest so much without your support. We need your support and we will need much more of your support. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.